So I like to talk about Node a lot, and not Node, but I hate JavaScript. I like talking about Docker a lot, and so uh, everyone else seems to like talking about that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to combine them really quickly. So, uh, I don't know, oh, no, we'll forget about that. Uh, I don't know how many of you have seen this, but uh, someone said, <laughs> <laughs> Now, this is something that Mark has put together, uh, which is on the Ben Adventure Doc Club. Uh, so, good facts. Because probably loads of people have seen this. Uh, yeah, exactly. I think we do some stuff. That's what I do. There you go. So, there's all this stuff out there. Now, the interesting thing about, say, you stop Ben Adventure Doc Club. Is that it's uh, running a node server? It's just I think it's an Express app, um, and it gives you back gives you back that stuff. Um, but I don't like having nodes installed on my computer because that's all lame. And I could do something cool and hit my Docker. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to Dockerize it, which I can do with just those lines, which are really small and can't really read it. Basically, I'm cloning the repository. I'm CDing into it because that's cool terminal stuff. And then I'm going to take I'm going to put two lines into a Docker file. Which is this one, which is even smaller. Get bigger. There you go. That's my the longest Docker file you could possibly have, and that is all you need because then I can run a build command and I can run it and it does some stuff. Now, that's not that good. Oh yeah, handy command. If you use Docker, you can kill stuff. Brilliant. Um, but where it's quite handy is you can push the thing that you've built up to the Docker Hub, um, and then somewhere else you can download it and run it. So to prove that. This is me building it on my iMac. I realised after I took the picture that it kind of also looks like the side of my MacBook Pro. Um, but if I run that in this, this window here, which is. Yeah, that's the other one. So it's all about the preparation. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, yeah. See? It's so reliable, I'm going to do it here on the Wi Fi. No. <laughs> awesome! Uh, yeah, so anyway, that would have been awesome, but it might actually be running if Docker hasn't crashed. Yeah, so it is actually running. Now, you can see because it's really tiny text uh, that it's running on localhost or uh, 8001, but I don't have no running on my machine, so uh, that's really good. Um, yeah, that would have been cooler if I could actually change the command. But I'm demonstrating that Shell and Tell But to make it even cooler and hipper, I'm actually running a reveal inside Docker as well, because this is running on port 7000, but uh, when I switched over here, uh, you can see that I've done Docker run. Uh, minus minus R just means it's going to delete the container at the end. I map ports, because that's cool, and then I put something from my Dropbox into this Docker container, and it just magically gives me uh, a reveal server. So all of this thing has been Docker. Brilliant. And um, that's all of my slides. Yay! Can I just point out the, the one that I've deployed? It, it's in Docker. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's that's that's how cool it is. But that was easier than yours because I have something that does it automatically. <laughs> cool. There you go. Continue. Uh, Thanks, Brad. Yeah, great. <laughs>